Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And as you can see, we have an Air Force One box in front of us, plain black with that kind of silver reflective Air Force writing. Flipping it around, this is an Air Force One Mid 07 LV8 in white, smoke gray, gym red, men's size 12. And the retail tag, little stitching thing is missing right there. But these were $130 US. Normal paper inside, nothing special about that. And this pair released very recently on January 27th, 2022 for 130 US. And this is what we are looking at today. So, this is pretty interesting. The take on this, I believe, I'm not absolutely positive, I'm pretty sure, is because it's called the Nike Athletic Club, it's based on old school athletic wear. In the terms of old school jerseys as well, you can see some of the stitching, some of the patterns, and where this comes from throughout the sneaker, and we will talk about that. So predominantly about the sneaker, we have an all white and red mixture with that smoke gray, but it is mostly leather with a little bit of other materials, starting with the upper along the toe box area here, a little perforation up top, white leather going all the way across on these two panels, the swoosh is also in leather, but the smoke gray with that exposed kind of like baseball stitching. I like what they did there. It gives the swoosh a little bit of an effect and contrasts it really nicely. I like how it pops out like that. Once again, I think this is a really nice pair of mids. I don't know if they're sold out everywhere. I'm going to say they're underrated. They might not be, but I think this is a sick pair of mids. I would definitely put them in a collection if you like Air Forces. There is a look at that back paneling along the ankle and heel area that is in red leather. You have the strap up top, which interestingly has Air Force One printed on it in white. This is also like a gray leather material, but it's a little bit different of a leather. I will undo the Velcro so you guys can see that. The buckle around the Velcro loop thing is red. The strap does, of course, hang off to the side, but it doesn't remove like an Air Force One high. So if you're not a big fan of straps on your sneaker, the mid does not remove like the high. That's something to be aware of. If you've never had mids before or nobody's ever told you that or you haven't noticed it, I figured I might as well point that out. Turning to the heel real quick, we have that Nike Athletic Club patch on the back. And you can see how it was a little bit 3D there. So you got blue stitching around, white and red. There's a look at your midsole going around to the lateral side, which is white with that red line goes all the way around to the red air on the side and if we look at the outsole real quick classic air force one outsole in all white your medial side same contrasted kind of baseball stitching there is a look at the strap where it attaches on the medial side as well and back to the toe box we will go up there is no lace dubre on this pair of air force ones which was also kind of interesting to me usually they have a lace dubre in there with the af1 on it so you have smoke gray leather with a hint of leather underneath. So it's kind of like a double patched leather going over the eyelet area. And as you can see, we have gym red underneath, smoke gray going all the way up. And I'll actually, <laughs> I'll actually undo this again because you guys need to see what's going on here with the tongue. So the tongue is a really interesting material. If we look up a little bit close and you t pay attention to the fabric where the laces are going through, sorry about that, and right over here and right over here. It's kind of like an old school basketball jersey, uh, jersey knit. It's like a sweater material, like sweatpant. It's kind of crazy. I really like how it feels. The lining is the same way. And with the tongue being uh, made from that fabric, it's really, really soft. And it just has a really nice touch. I think these are going to be really comfortable. There is the Nike Athletic Club tag up top with the swoosh right underneath. The only pair of laces you get with these are the ones you're looking at, which is in the shoe. It's just a white lace with clear tips. Nothing special there. And if we move those laces out of there, you can see that kind of cotton jersey knit lining. And across the tongue. It looks really nice. I think it's really well done. And for your insole, you have a gray insole with the Nike Athletic Club in there. And the light is not going to pick that up, so I will make sure to take a photo of the insole so you guys can see that well. Sorry about that. I will try to get some better lighting in the future. It is, it, I have a lot of light in here, but I feel like I need a second light off at a different angle. 
But other than that, I'm going to bring up the other shoe real quick like I normally do in the videos just to show you guys that both shoes are the same. There's no real detailed differences. Everything matches. Sometimes people want to know if they look the same, if they're patterned the same, if they're cut the same. These are. And there you go. So, <laughs> other than that, I think this is a solid Air Force One. I like the athletic club design and inspiration. I like the real use of this kind of like knit material fabric on the tongue and the lining. Once again, I think they're going to be really comfortable. Air Force Ones, if you've never owned a pair, I like to go down half a size. I would recommend you do the same thing. I feel they run big. A lot of people I've talked to also feel the same way. And other than that, let's hear what you guys have to say down in the comments about the Nike Air Force One Mid Athletic Club in this white gym red. I will try to answer back to everybody, get some conversation going. I hope everybody sticks around. I do have more content coming shortly. I've been trying to get some videos out a little bit quicker now. I've been a little bit behind, but stick with me and you will enjoy what's coming up. And I thank you guys for stopping by today. I thank you for watching the review. Have a good day. Bye.